you may have been lied to about central sleep apnea, not only if you have it or not, but also the underlying mechanism. It's not just as simple as you stop breathing, all right? I mean, you do, but we'll get deeper. First things first, this is not diagnostic. I'm going to give you some information. You talk to your doctor about that because a lot of times people like in the comments, they'll say like, oh, I have central sleep apnea. And then I'll ask like, well, how do you know that? And a lot of times people think that way because of an offhand comment, whether it's by a sleep tech or a doctor, or they look at their sleep study and it's like, oh, there's some central sleep apnea events. But that's not how it works. So if you have obstructive sleep apnea, the only central sleep apnea you'd be concerned about is having complex sleep apnea, which is having both at the same time. To have central sleep apnea, you need to have five and above events per hour that are centrally based. That means you stop breathing, but you don't have an increased respiratory effort as a result of that. For the grand majority of people, that is rarely ever the case. They have like one or two events over the course of the entire night, not five per hour. Now, the second big thing in this video that is already too long than it should be is that central sleep apnea is on the same spectrum, the same continuum as obstructive sleep apnea. In fact, obstructive sleep apnea plus using a CPAP in about like one in 12 people will develop central sleep apnea as a result. Well, how can that be? It happens because both of them share a common mechanism, common problem, which is in your brainstem, your breathing thermostat, if you will. In obstructive sleep apnea, your breathing thermostat is oversensitive. That's why you kind of breathe all over the place at night. In central sleep apnea, sometimes your breathing thermostat is just off. It's just not working at all. And that's why you, you stop breathing. So it's like the same area of the brain, but like slightly different problems. To wrap things up, because I'm getting tired of filming this, is that when you improve breathing patterns, a lot of people, whether obstructive, complex, central, or treatment-induced, they are reporting benefits from working on their breathing patterns. So if you need help naturally supporting your breathing, got help for you, clear, personalized path for you, there's a red button up here, maybe not, I don't know, or a shop button down here, click that, or just go to the website over my face, apneareset.com, type it into your browser.